Those of you who are new, my name is John Scott Kelly. I'm a student in the Counseling Psychology Program and a licensed psychotherapist. I'm also the Graduate Student Support GA and serve as a point of contact and support for all graduate students on campus. These sessions are intended to fortify our sense of being by integrating our brain hemispheres, strengthening the connection between our minds and our bodies, and actively attending to our present experiences, all of which promote a sense of wholeness and act as a buffer against our society's typical activities. Today, we will focus on actively attending to our imagination and inner experiences through guided meditation. I ask you all to find a comfortable position wherever you may be. That might mean closing the blinds, turning down the lights, resting your feet flat on the floor, placing your hands on your thighs, or simply sitting on the ground. Make your space as comfortable as possible and make it yours. Now, close your eyes or employ a soft gaze. As you allow your eyes to gently close, tune into your body and make any necessary adjustments. Sit in a way that feels comfortable, but allows you to be alert. Begin to breathe deeply in a manner that engages your belly. This type of mindful breathing signals to our bodies that we are relaxed, which in turn calms our minds. Since our minds and bodies are interconnected, this cycle builds on itself. Notice your belly rise and fall as you continue to breathe. Picture yourself in a cabin in the mountains on a cool, clear evening. You can hear the soft, high howling of the wind outside as you sit comfortably in front of a fire. The flames dance in the fireplace and create an almost itchy sensation on the front of your body from the intensity of their heat. You take a deep breath and smell the smoke from the burning pine. You hear the logs crackle and hiss as you watch shadows flicker on the walls around you. The only light is coming from the orange glow of the fire while the rest of the cabin is steeped in deep purple darkness. You get up and walk to the window, which is framed in a lacy pattern of frost. As you touch your warm hand to the hard, cold glass, you feel the refreshing frost melt against your fingertips. You look outside and are overcome by the clarity of the night. Stars fill the sky. Tall evergreen trees cast purple shadows against the white snow. There's a bluish tinge to everything you see. You open the window and take in a big, deep breath of crisp, clean mountain air. It feels revivifying and your entire chest collapses in deep relaxation. You can smell the pine needles with every breath and you feel compelled to go outside. 
you walk over to the door and put on your boots, gloves, coat, and scarf. As you open the door, you take another deep breath of fresh mountain air and look to the sky. The moon is silver and full overhead, throwing bluish shadows everywhere. You go down the steps of the cabin and begin walking along a path with tall trees on either side. Frost clings to the trees, making their white branches glow. The tree trunks are darker and stand out beautifully in the brilliant bluish landscape. There is snow everywhere and it sparkles and glistens in the moonlight. The snow beneath your feet is fresh and fluffy. And as you walk, you can feel the crunch of your steps in the snow. A discernible path winds through the trees with small bushes on either side. Every so often, you brush against one of the small branches and frost springs into the air and forms a sparkling cloud before gently falling to the snowy ground behind you. You notice a cloud of mist with each breath. You breathe in the clean air and feel its refreshing coolness before watching the cloud escape your mouth and disappear. With every out breath, you release any tension or stress you are holding. And similarly, they leave your body and disappear. You take an extra moment to enjoy the refreshing, cool evening before you turn around and head back to the cabin retracing your footsteps in the snow. As you approach your cabin, you are pleased to see a slight flicker of light from the fire glowing through the windows. You walk up the steps, open the door and go inside. Its warmth envelops you. You take off your boots, gloves, coat, and scarf and walk over to the fireplace. You stoke it before holding out your hands to the flames and feeling the warmth contrast with the coldness of your fingers. You lie down on a comfortable couch by the fire. You smell the smoke and hear the crackling of the wood You notice the howling of the wind outside as you feel the warmth slowly return to your whole body. You let the sights, sounds, and smells get further and further away as you come back to the room. Open your eyes or harden your gaze.
If you found this to be difficult today, I challenge you to practice this exercise in your spare time. If you enjoyed it, remember that you can always return to your personal cabin in the woods whenever you believe you need to enhance your sense of self. Perhaps next time you can spend more time in this place. Thank you all for another wonderful semester of Mindfulness Mondays. I hope these sessions gave you opportunities to foster self-awareness, promote a sense of calmness, and spend time with yourself. As always, Mariah is providing a feedback survey in the chat box, if you wouldn't mind filling that out as we close today. Thank you, John Scott, for today and for all that you've done to support employee wellness. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.